Awesome. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to many of us. Uh, welcome to CEO Talk, a series conducted by CXODB, where a CEO narrates a story and share their learning and success of building a great brand. So today, our guest is Anand Kumar Bajaj, the MD and the CEO of uh, Pay Nearby. So Pay Nearby is a fintech network in India that empowers first mile retailers to offer digital financial and non-financial services to the masses. Anand's responsibility include developing strategic roadmap for the company's growth and managing its key resources. With over 18 years of experience in digital payment sector, Anand has held leadership position at ENY, ICICI and Yes Bank. He holds chartered accountancy, company secretary certifications and management studies from IMM the bar. Anand has secured five patents in banking technology and has been involved in shaping the IMPS and UPI industry. At Pain nearby, Anand aims to expand the company services to 20 countries and touch the lives of 2 billion people in the next five years. His passion about uplifting the digital quotient for the connected economy and his focus on creating an impact on financial ecosystem. In his free time, Anand enjoyed spending time with his family and meeting energetic people with wonderful ideas. Welcome, Anand. Thank you so much, Anand. That's too much of a, a detailing. Uh, thank you on that note. Okay. So, Anand, you have an uh, uh, elaborated uh, experience and, and you have been associated with several uh, organizations. So, what inspired you to pursue a career in uh, fintech and digital payments? Uh, it was an insight, Anuj. Uh, if I may call out the fact that there is a concentration of big tech companies with digital savvy segment mostly, it was bifurcating India into two parts, India and Bharat. The self-service conducive people whom we call uh, mildly as India and the mass 90% as Bharat who are uh, deprived of still uh, digital assisted financial services is how they, they live their lives. Uh, the digital divide had grown big with the onslaught or availability of a better tech for uh, limited people who could harness and run with it. In the bank, uh, when we were uh, uh, building on few of these UPI use cases, we realized that our intent it is truly to take these technologies to Bharat. And that means we will be able to granularize, sanitize, and universalize these services, the same set of services that uh, urban uh, diaspora uses it today. The fact that these services would have to be relayed uh, through a nearby Kirana store to the citizens was another revelation for us when we saw that the retail is evolving, retailers are not. And let me explain uh, that all the assisted financial services that we would take to the masses would largely be through a Kirana store or a nearby pharmacy store. That was the plan. And we were seeing that already the self-service conducive segments who were using the online apps were shifting their buying pattern of Fiamma the Wills or Dove to online and leaving behind Lux and Hamam to the retailer, which means high margin products moving away to self-service platforms, leaving behind the low margin of Lux and Hamam to a Kirana store, which means his viability also would be further deteriorating. That was actually tip of the iceberg uh, uh, we saw in the sense of the problems that are there in retailing and we resolved that we should come out and do something for this segment so that retail survives with our help and then we will be able to do more business with their end. So it was an interdependent fortification that we had uh, planned that we will do everything that requires a retailer to survive in their business so that they can help us in our business. So long story short, the insights were uh, uh, very sharp and uh, uh, in contrast to what was happening in the digital ecosystem in the country. Uh, hence, we said we should come out and do something about it. Sounds interesting, uh, Anand. Uh, so, you know, your your uh, tagline says that Aadhanirbhar Bharat ki pehchan har dukaan digital prathar. 
So this sounds pretty uh, fascinating and very interesting to me. So can you just tell me about your journey to become the uh, you know the founder for uh, Pay uh, Nearby and uh, how does uh, Pay Nearby differentiate itself from the other fintech companies in India? Uh, let me think through this part in a uh, few um, episodes, if I may. The fact that the 10 service, 10 percent self service conducive segment is able to use a Google Pay, Phone Pay, or a Paytm on their own is bringing the best of the world to the 10 percent digital savvy segment. I call them DSG, digital savvy greedy segment, the digitized, leaving behind the 90 percent marginalized and subsidized. As you will know, I was the chief innovation officer at the bank there when we saw this concentration happening in the distribution curve, only 10% of this segment being able to overbank and uh, leaving behind the 90%. That is where we said that if we have to take the services to common man, there are two paths to do that. One is that you raise a large equity, uh, go around burning it and then acquire customers. There again, to my belief, we always thought that when burning money, the self-service conducive segment customer will only come to you. But we wanted to go to the masses. When we realized that the number of bank branches are limited to the large population, in 6 lakh villages, only 32,000 branches are there. We saw the another alibi of reaching corollary to reach this segment was at Kirana Dukan, which is very nearby. And hence the name Nearby Technologies was coined. The fact that a bank branch is at least a 40-50 kilometer away or an insurance agent is maybe 20 kilometers away or a mutual fund agent is about 100 kilometers away. What is nearby is a Kirana Dukan. So we said that we will go where people go. And uh, you would agree that <laughs> once a week, twice a week or thrice a week I would go to a nearby Kirana store to buy my top ups, grocery, etc., or the monthly purchases, or a medicine shop once in a while. And hence, we said that instead of burning money and decide, uh, realizing that we again got the self service conducive segment, let's go through a tougher way through retail chain and start servicing as a B2B2C. This philosophy of nearby was then accordingly built upon. We said we will do everything that is required to help the retail uh, be dependent on us uh, to be very candid so that we can write more services through them. So we can help them stand, make a fortification uh, with the, uh, uh, as a partnership with them and avoid conflict and competitions coming to these outlets. But we knowing fully that the backbone of retail was breaking. Our first patent in nearby technologies was filed around making uh, modernizing and digitizing retail we backed that patent last year it took five years to, uh, to get the patent uh, the whole idea is that the retailer should be able to do uh, assisted commerce in the vicinity he is a trusted touch point for the hundreds of cities in his locality he's a community manager so if we are able to bring more and more services to this retail outlet his shelf will not have a relevance then. Thankfully, we were able to experiment it uh, during the lockdown where we integrated a couple of e-com players also on our platform. And in my hometown, uh, we were able to sell football at a Kirana store or at a fertilizer shop, stationery was being sold to the, uh, the farmer's son. So the retailing is undergoing a transformation. Thankfully, now that ONDC is uh, coming up in India, uh, we believe there is a lot more transformation in the make. Thanks, Anand. I think uh, you talk about B2B, B2C, you talk about the retailer as uh, the community manager. So good to hear that uh, you've been empowering the retailers. So uh, with this, I'll just uh, bring down my next question is all about the customer experience. So, uh, you know, the customer experience has become a major decision uh, making factor and a differentiator for our business. How are the organization in the financial services building their momentum on customer experience? See, I won't say much about how are the other financial institutions building in. 
but our core uh, focus is uh, citizens first we don't call them customers yet a citizen is a larger pedestal a higher pedestal i believe and to these citizens uh, the way we look at them uh, we realize that the 700 rupee which is my cap fare for a day is their monthly grocery bill and these citizens do not complain to the finance minister on twitter they just go down on the knees and report to the allah taala the lord almighty it's a very responsible job that we have taken upon ourselves to take the high end of tech to the bottom of the pyramid so that that 700 rupee their monthly grocery does not go amiss we have built all the tech that is in our control comfort and all that our ecosystem partners have been able to help us do most of our work has gone into technology build up at the back end in the front end the customer consumer citizen is agnostic he she is able to come to a grocery store and just say 2 kilo aloo 1 kilo pyaaj 500 rupees cash dena bhaiya for the uh, english speaking uh, segment a bottle of uh, water a pack of rice and 500 bucks bro is the conversation at the retail outlet this is what we started with anuj you will relate the way the indian households are uh, genetically built is uh, to maintain liquidity at home the ladies would keep some money in the home in the uh, kitchen somewhere they would hide purely because the nearest bank branch is not available and now that we have been able to bring the capability of a kirana store to dispense sanitized financial service the jeans transformation would happen because that choti bachat bada fayda is visible to the ladies now they know that their small savings can make big impact they can start earning a badta bullak the the piggy bank at home which also grows and it is just at a arms distance of convenience you go down to a kirana store next door and ask for 2 kilo aloo 1 kilo pyaaj 500 rupees cash dena pye what is more important is other than the liquidity we are able to sanitize the trust of our partner banks and dispense if you ask me what are what business are we in it is actually to sanitize the trust and dispense through a trusted retail partner so a kirana dukan a pharmacy store are very highly trusted local ecosystem uh, providers in uh, tier 2 tier 3 4 villages as well so this is what we rode along and we said har dukan digital pradhan which means that you are the local harbinger of digitization for bharat the connect between bharat and india is what we have tried to build with these retail partners we call them a neural network of connected entrepreneurs ultimately these are two way transmission protocol railroads that you have relayed from one side you infuse technology into them on the other hand you are able to extract insights a lot of our work is driven by artificial intelligence machine learning fed by human intelligence and i will talk about it later but for now i think uh, this is the core thesis thanks and uh, you talk about the technology piece so probably i'll just uh, pick up uh, the technology questions uh, sometime uh, it was the end of the conversation sure. so uh, uh and then how uh, has be nearby impacted the financial uh, inclusion in india i uh, believe that we were lucky to have built this for the nation and why i say so is that we work very closely with national payment corporation of india npci which has built technologies as a backup to backup to backup the aadhar enabled payment service is a backup to the atms in india the two segments one using upi and one using the biometric auth is a very very different cut available from the same stack of national payment corporation of india when in bihar there is flood every uh, flood season we end up dispensing about 1000 to 1500 crore using biometric auth in 
115 aspirational districts of India which are classified by Niti Aayog as aspirational where growth is required, services are required. We serve about 900 crore every month in satellite financial services through the local retail partners. So with the railroads that have been built into the hinterlands of Bharat, we, like I was saying, we are able to transmit technologies and the financial services through assisted retail partners. Today, we are privileged to say that we work with 1.2 million retail touch points in the country, catering to 266 million citizens already. These are the number of unique lives that we have been able to serve in our times of existence. Uh, interestingly, 20th April happens to be our seventh founding day. We complete seven years on that day. And delighted to report, every month we process about a billion dollar of satellite financial services. That's the little impact that I would say we have been able to create. Like I was saying, we have been lucky that we built this super highway just before the lockdown. During the lockdown, what happened was, you know, that government of India was doing a fantastic work of doing dispensation of subsidy in the accounts. But because of the broken transportation during those times and scarcity of banking staff or cash at branches, our digital pradhans were able to dispense that subsidy in the hands of citizens. That has helped create a huge impact and re respect for our retail partners in the local ecosystem. Their credibility, like I said, has been augmented. They were already trustworthy. It has augmented to almost a sovereign grade for the retail uh, consumers in their area because they were dispensing the government subsidy in the hand of women, farmers, students, all of that was being dispensed here. Now, when it comes to inclusion, it is not just about people who were secluded. Normal people also who do not have access to ATM nearby were able to come to a pay nearby outlet and put either a bio auth or swipe a card on our uh, micro ATM and get access to cash. So I think the uh, impact on financial inclusion, uh, one would quantify in monetary terms, but I would say that we were lucky to be of national service at that time when the country needed it most. So we say uh, with full confidence, we were Rashtra Hitme Samarpit. We gave out our data to DVT mission and to people in the banks saying, please call upon my retail agent in your area who can service your customers. And the citizens of the local area, the customers of the banks were able to go to a Kirana store and ask for two kilo alu, a kilo cash, 500 rupee cash. While this is just one side of it, the impact is actually both ways. Now people are able to save small quantum of money, 50 rupee a day, 100 rupee a day, 1000 rupee a day. With our partner Access Bank, uh, very recently we went live after a long drawn technology integrations and a good platform has been created. We opened 100,000 accounts in the pilot phase in three months time and have demonstrated a reasonable balance in those accounts. The good part is that today the technology and the trust permits you to go down to the last mile and rebuild Bharat. The impact would be known much later, I believe. Uh, today it will be little, um, I would be out of depth if I say that I have, I'm able to quantify the impact. But impact is seen little more later and we are mindfully working towards that. Absolutely. I think uh, your efforts towards the Bharat will definitely going to come out uh, soon. That's what I can decipher from the conversation. So can we just talk about uh, the top focus uh, areas and the expansion plan over the next uh, two, you know, four years uh, from now? Uh, see, uh, like I said, the railroads that we have built uh, makes us realize that we are DAS. The DAS means distribution as a service. We have been able to dispense micro insurance, micro credit, uh, satellite financial services to last mile people. We were able to dispense products through e-commerce partners who are integrated on our platform. And we realized that uh, there is a lot more that can be taken to the Bharat. 
we have been able to in the last few months build a configuration of program which will help us do a lot more in these on these railroads um i least i can say is that a two wheeler will run on it a cycle will run on it a car and an airplane also will land on these railroads we for example during the lockdown also saw 70 nbfc partners microfinance institutes banks integrating with us and going to our last mile retail touch point to connect their emi because mind you during the lockdown bharat wanted to pay loan emis but the uh, connection teams were not able to travel there hence the already credible retailer was utilized during those times to receive sachetized emi repayments so this effectively is a network of very highly trusted retail partners with capability to relay multiple products and hence i would reiterate that the focus will be to make them shelfless in the service selfless service of the nation their shelves will not matter at all because they will be the harbingers they will be the connectors of india and bharat they will be the ones who will break the digital divide and bridge the gap between india and bharat again i would say the protocol will be two way transmission because there are enough self help groups in the deeper uh, localities who want a market access linkage to their products from angan to drawing room is the whole idea the products that uh, ladies in churu in pilani in your hometown make uh, uh, the papad achar mangodi can now have a linkage to the market in urban by my retailer being able to onboard their product catalogs and help them dispense sell in the urban areas so it's a two way protocol and there is lot of work to be done but happy that the key work of establishing a rail road has been done the technology built up has been demonstrated with npci and configurations on aws for scalability on demand and we are now doing the fun part of uh, real skill in terms of adding more product services and reaching out deeper to the citizens okay so uh with this uh, as this uh, going to be asking you the next question how how do you stay updated on the latest developments and uh, the trends uh, in the fintech industry mm, uh, there are um, uh, there is whatsapp university to start <laughs> i'm part of few many of them and uh, uh, fantastic set of members on most of the groups who keep uh, updating uh, the latest updates uh, we are connected with the ecosystem there are so many well wishers we work with and uh, it is like a formula one drive you can't sit back and read a book and then go to drive you have to be on the steering and on the legs on the pedal accelerator and brake and real time keep getting insights and maneuver your vehicle so uh, the work that we do with Uh, the regulators in the ecosystem or many regulated entities we learn a lot uh, the work we do with some incubators uh, there is enough and more to learn from them um, and i think learning is a everyday job yeah okay so finally uh, you know uh, what advice would you give to uh, uh, you know someone interested in pursuing a, a career in fintech and they just to pay I uh, interestingly the day before I was traveling uh, to deep rural and uh, it occurred to me that what fun does a small medical shop get by being there in that rural area and just dispensing two sachets of tablets or a bottle of syrup and I realized that it is actually some purpose that shopkeeper is uh, uh, running a mandate for he is clear that he does not want to be a grocer and he wants to continue she wants to continue with the uh, key purpose of <laughs> dispensing health to people in the area i'm saying this because uh, everyone has to decide a purpose and a purpose that creates impact and uh, generates lot of goodwill in the ecosystem not everyone can become a pharmacist not everyone can become a grocer which means the startups who intend to come in the space of fintech need to find either a niche or draw a purpose with existing niche and drive them well <clears throat> my sincere request is that 
uh, if a purpose driven organization can deliver to the masses they survive and hence focus on the purpose uh, i think rest all will follow absolutely absolutely i agree with you i think the purpose is is the foremost important thing which uh, drives uh, you and in fact uh, uh, what i what i understand is like uh, your efforts towards reducing the gap between bharat and india is is commendable so with this uh, uh, we come to the end of this episode uh, thanks anand for such an insightful uh, session we really had a pleasure interacting with you Thank you, Anuj. Thanks a lot. For more updates from CXO TV, please like and subscribe to our channel.